We're doing an upgrade to the avionics at the moment in uh, this little plane in the LP. Um, we're changing out the radio and the transponder for what we call an ADS-B system. So what we had before, you can see we've got the rack removed here and the old transponder and the radio, which is also a radio with GPS. So let's start with the radio GPS. This was a Garmin 250 XL and it's been, it's getting, <laughs> it's pretty old now and it's been playing up, the getting interference and intermittent. So it's time, time for a new one. So we're going to replace that with a Garmin 200, which is a, uh, um, a very nice little radio, which has stereo output and also the ability to interface Bluetooth so your phone can go into it and listen to music on it, if you like, as well, while you're flying. Um, and then the other change is the old transponder. This is GTX 327 has been replaced with an ADS-B system. So what that means is, unlike the older transponders, here, where we would put in a, a defined code from air traffic control, um, which would give us a unique identifier as to who we were, what we were doing, which you'd constantly have to change depending on, on, on where you were and what they told you to do. Um, that's now going to replace with the ADSB in and out, which gives us a permanent um, signal out and in for that matter. Um, to other aircraft in the sky and the air traffic controllers, which is um, uniquely assigned to the registration of this aircraft, so they know who we are, where we are at all times. And it's really great, actually, because when I'm flying now, I can, I can see all the other aircraft which have got ADS-B. I can see exactly where they are in the sky, and if, if they, you know, which is great safety improvement when, you know, especially when you're in busy airspace. Uh, um, so that's what that's all about. Quite a bit of wiring to figure out here, and some of it we'll be discarding. The new system doesn't need quite so much. Well, day two of the job. Um, this is all the gear we've removed so far. This will all be discarded. We don't need this anymore. Another beautiful day today to be working in the hangar. And here's the new ADSB and the Garmin 200 radio. You can see the size of them, lighter, quite deep, a bit deeper than the old units, but thinner. The last bit. Yep. Well, now we're simulating various altitudes and we're gonna see that the, uh, the transponder, the ADS-B, the GPS in it is uh, calibrated correctly. So this little device here goes onto the pitot tube and the static tube and we have a pump in there which will put pressure in and um, simulate the various altitudes. We're going to test it up to 12,000 feet. Yep, let's go. Oops, keep the satellites near. They're not cool. filled in yet, they're just it's yeah. not really, it's still doing its cheeks and building efforts in on the next. Well, we got all the, the new installations in and beautiful new Garmin. And then the ADSB system here, so we're going to go and do a test with this now. We're going to fly um, up to a reporting point and then talk to the tower in uh, Christchurch and check that everything's working. We'll record that down and then we'll submit that to the CIA uh, along with all the other tests that we did with the instrumentation. And then it will be certified and good for use. Um, Weather's looking a little bit lousy, closing in, but we're not going far today. So we still got a few things to tidy up here on, on the panel. Okay, check. Power on, booster pump on. Pressure coming up, good. Booster pump off. One mag on. Brakes part locked. Choke out. Throttle. Second, last one. Now today I've got to be particularly careful on the after start checks because we've had the panel out and made a few changes back there. We just want to make sure that everything is working correctly, all the gauges are reading correctly and um, all the control inputs are correct.
visual reporting points and just preparing to give Christchurch Tower a call. Okay, back. So the test uh, wasn't great. Uh, we called up the tower and uh, they said that uh, some of their equipment was not working today and they weren't able to help us in doing the check. So we'll try again tomorrow or maybe on Monday. Um, radio seems to be working good. There's a little bit of interference uh, on the reception side that we just want to double check on. Maybe we need to tweak it a bit more. But other than that, we're much better than we were. So uh, a few more little jobs to tidy up here and uh, and uh, project will be finished. And then we'll be doing the next one, whatever that is. <laughs>